If you ever wondered how to add high poly thread seams to your furniture in Blender, think no more. First, make the loop cuts with Ctrl R and scale them along normals with Alt S to make indentation. Add one more loop cut between them and separate it by selection with P. We will later use this as a route that thread seam will follow. Now model your 3D seam, add material to it and shade it smooth. Try to keep it low poly because we will have to array it later. When you are happy with the results, select it, apply all transforms and set origin to geometry. Next, select the loop cut we separated earlier, convert it to curve, set origin to geometry and apply all transforms. From now the order is essential. Select the 3D seam and then Ctrl click on the new curve. Then use Snap Selection to Active. This way both objects have origin points in the same location. Now select Seam object and add Array modifier to it. Set Fit type to Fit Curve and select our curve. Then add Curve modifier below it and set Curve object to the same curve. And just like that we have 3D Seam that perfectly follows our mesh and looks quite realistic. If you have any problems with seam alignment, select 3D Seam, go to Edit Mode and rotate it on the X axis. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave like and comment. Thanks for watching.